All right. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, good evening and uh, welcome to tonight's PLR show. Uh, it's good to see you all here tonight and uh, we're going to get started pretty much right away. Uh, I've got a lot I want to cover. Uh, I do want to start by asking you if you have any questions about anything that uh, you're trying to do uh, specifically with PLR. Now, tomorrow night, of course, is our Internet marketing call and uh that's more general so you know maybe there's there's something that's non plr related i want to invite you to come out tomorrow night at 9 p.m eastern standard time if that's if you've got a concern that's non plr related but but internet marketing related but uh, if you have something you've been trying to do something you don't understand about plr uh, I want to go ahead and just uh, give you the opportunity to ask any questions that you might have right now. So are there any questions, maybe something that you uh, maybe you bought PLR, maybe you want to create PLR, um, you know, if you if you're if you're crazy enough to want to do that, uh, you know, if that that that's where you are. Um, I'm happy to answer your questions. Uh, the more more PLR creators, the merrier. Um, uh, and uh, so, so if you would uh, do me a favor, um, and, and I know I know a lot of you here anyway, uh, but uh, do me a favor. Uh, just write into the question box, and if you if you want to write it in privately, you're more than welcome to do that. But if you want to write it in publicly, you can do that. Tell me what you what project you're working on. Uh, so so just write in there. Uh, working on this project and you're in uh, this niche. So if you're in, if your your primary niche is, I don't know, weight loss, if your primary niche is baby boomers, uh, whatever it is. So the first thing, um, just write down maybe one sentence right, right there in the box. Uh, the, you are working on this project. This is, this is what you're working on right now uh, to get sold. And then what niche you're in. So just write that right there in the box. Um, uh, hello, uh, Dr. Vay. Hello, Julie. And, uh, yeah, so, so write that in the box. Let me know what you're working on. And then I'm going to go ahead and get started. And again, I want to encourage you, right? This, this call is really for you. So if you have any questions along the way, not just about what I'm talking about, but just something that maybe you, uh, have been, uh, thinking about when it comes to PLR, uh, write that in. Okay. Okay. So uh, Julie's into content marketing, and one of the things I want to really encourage you all to do, uh, if you if you notice, right, you notice somebody and they're they're writing something. Maybe you are in the same niche they are, right, or maybe they're doing something that you uh, could 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 benefit by. Well, well, reach out to them, right? Reach out to them, and uh, you know, in internet marketing these days. Partnerships are huge, right? And and sometimes one of the things that keeps us from moving forward with some of the projects that we have is that we don't have the right uh, combination of skills, and we're not quite ready to go out and outsource everything. Maybe you don't, you know, it takes time to outsource, and so you can benefit by finding partners. So one of the th reasons I want to encourage you while you're here to go ahead and just put it out there, what project you're working on and which niche you're in. Because when someone else sees it, someone could, you you might be one step away from finding that partner you've been looking for to finally start putting things in order, right? So, so, uh, so, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and let's, uh, let's get started. Okay, now I do have a handout available. Uh, so you want to go ahead and pick up that handout. So the P the handout you can get at the plrshow.com forward slash handout. So I'm going to go ahead and just write that in the box there. The plrshow.com forward slash handout. All right. So, yeah. Okay, that that's uh, okay. Yeah, we got Brett Olson here. Um, he's in a pretty cool niche, and I'm not really even sure of everything he's trying to do there. But again, here here's here's someone that's in something very specific, and that you might find some you might find uh, uh, that that this is something that you you might you might you might benefit by partnering with Brent. So again, uh, I want you to I want to encourage everyone who's here 
to write that in, to just write in there what project you're working on and, and what, um, what niche you're in. Okay, so now, uh, plrshow.com forward slash handout, and uh, we want to go ahead and, and get started. Okay, now this is going to be a bit of an advanced session, right? And for those of you who have been coming to the PLR show for a little while, you're already here, right? You're, you're probably already advanced. You're at this point, and some of the stuff I'm going to mention, you already know. Uh, and, and we want to move to some advanced concepts, right? And so, and so if, if, if this fits you, Okay, so most of you have already been through the 30-day challenge. Even if you didn't buy it, you were you were at on a lot of the calls because a lot of what I'm going to be sharing, I'm 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 going to assume you already know some of that stuff. At least that that, that you've already heard me talk about it, and, and some of that's really important to build the foundation of what we're going to be talking about here tonight. Um, I'm going to assume that you already have a plan to make things available for sale. So in other words you probably already have a path to get something ready. If, you, if you're doing a Kindle book, if you're doing an information product, if you're doing a software, you already have a general idea at least. I'm going to go to JVZoo. I'm going to go to Warrior Plus. You already have a general idea of how you're going to make it available for sale. I'm going to assume that you already know how to get your stuff hosted and get it up, uh, ho and get it up to, to on the web. Right, at hosting an FTP, I'm going to assume you know that in this call. I'm going to assume you know how to create a WordPress site. I mean, if you don't, reach out to me and I'll, I'll get you some help on that. Um, just put a question in here. I'll go back. I go back through the question log. If there is something that you want to know, like create a WordPress site, uh, I'll, I'll give you give you some help on that. Um, I'll get a link to you where you can kind of know, but it, all that stuff is Googleable, right? That's that's something that's really easy to find. Now, <clears throat> you have an idea of what your niche is, right? Now, you may not know the exact button down, narrow down niche, but you have a general idea. I'm going to assume you already know that. I'm going to assume you already know how to start building a basic buyers list. And again, I covered that in the 30 day challenge. So if, if you don't know how to just eat, at least get two people on your list by creating a product, I covered that in the 30 day challenge. So again, um, uh, a lot of you have that already. Uh, I think it's the last session I covered that. So make sure that you already do that. Um, and but what you the only thing you may not know is the buyer infiltration method, and I'll cover that briefly tonight. And I'm also going to make that uh, available. I'm going to expand on that in the upcoming course. But I'm going to talk briefly tonight about the buyer infiltration method, so that at the very least you'll have a method where you can start uh, number one building your list, number two maybe even getting some sales, and so you can start getting some activity going. And I've said on some other calls, I've said in some other uh, things that I've done this week. <clears throat> I think I said this on the webinar this week, that if you're a marketer, right, um, this is just like they tell you putting your oxygen mask on when you're on an airplane before you can help somebody else. Now, um, you, your oxygen mask and internet marketing, you have to do something every day to build your list and you have to do something every day to ask somebody to uh, buy something from you. That's every day. That's putting on your oxygen mask. If you're not doing that every day, then, 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 then you're cutting off the air to your business. So I, I don't care how you do it um, um, tonight. If you haven't done it today, um, if, if you have a Facebook following, put a link out there, even if it's for an affiliate product, ask somebody for some money. Now, again, you're probably going to offend some people. You're probably going to get some people who don't want what you have. They're going to say, uh, don't send me this stuff, unfriend me. Um, some of that is uh, quite honestly, uh, uh, one of the things that, 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 you know, sometimes you've got to get over in order to start selling. So again, if you have not today, every day, you've got to do that. Every single day, you've got to do something to, to get people onto your buyers list, positioning yourself to get an opt-in, right? Um, every day you've got to do something to put something before someone in order to ask them to buy something from you, because that is your internet marketing business, right? <clears throat> Great question. Okay, so Julie's got a question here before I get started. Can we use PLR products on Amazon? Okay, and the answer to that, Julie, is yes or no. Yes and no. Okay, can you put it on Kindle? No, right? So they have really sophisticated filters that if you were to take uh, 
private label rights content, and you were to put together an ebook and you were to put it on Kindle, they'd probably be able to sniff it out. Now, if you were to rewrite that ebook, right, if you were to rewrite it, so if you use the, uh, the PLR for ideas and, and you used it for a general flow, right, you could probably do that. Right. So in other words, um, I could get 10 PLR articles that gave me the concepts and then I fill them in with my own perception and my own stories. Right. That would eventually acceptably be my book. Right. If you're going to use it for Kindle. Right. So, yeah. So the answer is yes and no. OK, now. Uh, OK, so. The first thing I'm going to suggest you do is something I've suggested in other places, right? So make sure you buy high quality PLR all the time. So, so I mean, you can always get um, eBooks. There are going to be tons of things that you're going to be able to get. Um, you're going to get a lot of bonuses and you're getting a lot of stuff that some of it's going to be usable and some of it is not. But you have to go out and you have to buy good PLR if you're going to use it in your business and and good plr has use when you get when you when you actually go out and you actually buy it with the intentionality of using it now if you buy something that's good instruction right then you may not have it may not have all the graphics it may not have all the other stuff but you know what you have is solid instruction you can turn good instruction into new products right so if you if you go to a source where you know they're giving good solid instruction that you don't have to worry that that this was outsourced to somebody for you know ten ten dollars an hour and they just put together some videos just in order to have a package together but 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 somebody really took the time and try to teach you something and they gave you detailed instruction you can always turn good instruction into new products right so 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 when you buy PLR make sure you're you're getting good instruction when you buy it okay uh, uh gareth great question can you use plr on udemy and again the answer is pretty much going to be the same it's going to be yes and no can you take a plr product and put it on udemy as is no can you take a plr product and redo it and put it on udemy yes Right. And so when you do that, I would suggest and, and Udemy is a platform that is becoming more and more. Uh, they're looking for uh, the kind of instruction where you are literally um, uh, uh, kind of talking from or at least sounding like you're, you're talking from your experience. So what I would say is that if you decide to use PLR and Udemy, that you seed it with anecdotes you seed it with stories and even if you weren't the wor person to experience these stories that you go and you get these stories from the web you get these stories from social media and you put those stories inside of the instruction that you're given now i'm going to tell you about a little something that i've learned in seminary right and so and and this is something that if and, and again if you're not a, if you're not a church goer and all that stuff that's not going to matter but you're going to understand what i'm talking about because good speakers do this now when you when whenever you whenever you get ready to speak right there, there are three things in every point that you need to make that you need to do for your listeners or for your viewers i don't have this in my um presentation so you just need to write it down Number one, you need to present the principle, right? You need to present the principle. So, so what is it that you were trying to teach, right? What's the point, right? You need to make that clear. Number two, right? Number two, you need to apply it to the people, right? You need to apply it. So what does it mean to them? And sometimes this is what copywriters call the benefit. Sometimes this is, but, but basically you have to take the principle and you have to apply it to my life, the people who, the person who's going to be listening it to you. So if you're talking to me, right, and I'm a marketer, you have to apply the principle to me, right? So you have to know my life at least enough to apply the principle to me if you're going to teach it to me. Let's see, Brent, o Brett Olson, right, is 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 into teaching and tutoring uh, people for American English improvement. So, so he's got to take the principle and he's got to apply that to people who want to learn English better, not to internet marketers, right? So, so okay, so the first thing you got to do, make the point clear. Second thing you got to do is to apply it. Third thing you have to do is illustrate. 
And how do you illustrate? You illustrate with stories. And you have to put stories in your in your lessons because stories give your people a break. They, 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 if you, if you just pound people, right, if you pound them with principle and you pound them with, um, application, they will get exhausted by the end of your, your talk and they won't buy anything. Right. So you have to apply, you, you have to, you have to tell stories and you have to make those stories emotional. And, and when you tell a story, right, when you tell a story, your story should be what I call visceral right? Visceral. What does visceral mean? Well, visceral means they have to feel it. It has to be like, uh, I, I don't want to use the term blood and guts. But that's really what it needs to be. Your stories need to, Mike, they need to be alive. So you need to, when you tell a story that goes with the illustrate, that goes with the, with the principle and it goes with the application, you put those three things together, right? People will love what it is that you're presenting. Right. And you have to do all three in order to communicate effectively. So, again, again, so this is not my notes. I'm just kind of doing this just based on, on the question. Remember, number one, make the point clear. Right. That's the first. And all this is. And the reason I say I learned this in seminary is because all good preachers do this. Right. All good. All good ministers do this. All good speakers do this. It's one on one. Number one, make the point clear. Number two, apply it to the people. Number three tell a story, right? And you do that over and over and over again until you get all of your points clear. And typically in any good message, right? All you really need, a good speaker can, can do that three times, three or four times. And that's typically why when you go and you listen to a speech, they're going to make three points and they're going to make the point clear. And one of the ways they make the point clear is they use what's called alliteration right? Alliteration. So um, all three points could be made with the letter D, right? Um, or, or you know, create good content, um, you know, um, capture the hearts of the people. Um, uh, and then and maybe a third one could be um, uh, be consistent. So alliteration, the three things, when you make your point clear, you make it memorable, by using alliteration. So th those are some, some, some things that you can do when, when you put together a, a course or you put together a, 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 an information product that again, um, you use those three things together and you can always do, um, you can make, uh, make any PLR unique by doing those three things um, when you put it together. Right, okay, so <clears throat> I kind of went off tangent, but I felt like that was important to kind of teach you. Okay, so good instruction can be turned into new products, right? So always get good instruction, right? Now, <clears throat> you get something that has good graphics. And whenever you have something that has good graphics, you can use that product as bonuses, right? So if a, so if a PLR package, maybe instruction is lacking, right? And I can tell you, I mean, you know, you, you're going you're gonna to be able to get uh, PLR packages, $79. They come out just about every week, twice a week, three times a week. Those are great to use for bonuses. Absolutely great. The instruction sometimes is 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 okay, right? It's okay, um, but 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 the graphics make it so that if you put that in front of people when you're using it as a bonus, it makes your affiliate offer enticing, right? So always buy high quality if you can buy good instruction. If you can buy good graphics. If you th third, buy good software. Now that's a little harder to do. Uh, when you're buying PLR, right? Um, uh, but you can do it. It is possible. I'm going to obviously give you some links. If you get the handout, you'll see it. Good software can always be used for bonuses for other software products. Now, and and you need to, and, and this is something I had to learn, and, and you can learn this too. Um, whenever you offer a bonus, it needs to be highly connected to what you're trying to offer. And sometimes, even if you pile up, Right. If you pile up a lot of instruction and you're making a software offer, right, the, the bonus will not convert for you as well as if you offer other related software. So, yes, you want to keep the products related, but you want to try to make that make your bonus a software bonus if the person is buying software. Is everybody with me on that? Does that make sense? So so good software. Right. If you get good PLR software, 
you can market right other software products right so 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 you want to kind of you kind of uh you kind of get that okay um let's see gareth you said that present the principle uh, make application and the third one is illustration right illustration so so the third point yeah so illustrate it with a story is the third point okay <clears throat> okay good content right good writing good content can be used to fill in the gaps and make new products right so you can always use good content good content can be turned into new products good content can fill in gaps good content can be given to people for emails good content can be uh, turned into to uh, to presentations good content can always fill in gaps so you have a product that's not quite complete right um the, you, you know you you did you did some videos but 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 you want to you want to make sure that 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 the product is complete and one of the ways you can do that is by giving people good content so buy good content right buy good plr articles and you know one of the things that um we used to sell was was uh when i was working in the offline niche right it is and and i did not anticipate how much people wanted it right because uh because because the fact of the matter is people don't like to write right so you know if you're thinking about going into a niche and you're thinking about you want to create products now i'm not i don't operate in a niche anymore but i'll tell you that if you know how to write articles for consultants to use uh to sell to use in their business to talk to business owners so you know how to talk in the language of business and consultants can use your articles to market their business they'll buy your stuff right because they they uh, most most good consultants are good salespeople. they're not good writers right and they don't want to write so they want to go buy they'll buy a ten dollar package from you all day right and i was i was not ready for how willing people were going to buy from buy from me about that right because i you know i grew up writing business and so when i when i just went out there with it and, and and people people really liked the content and it, it was okay right it was my best effort it was okay but what it was was that it filled in gaps right it filled in people's it filled in the gaps and so whenever you can fill in a gap with stuff like that good content does that so if you have an area that you know how to write in it could be that you could present you can either buy good content or you can sell good content and create it yourself to help people to fill in gaps with their information products Okay, so remember, I told you this was going to be a little advanced. So we're we're getting down into into some of the nitty gritty, and we're not talking about things anymore that are basic, right? So if you've been coming, um, um, you're 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 getting this. I'm sure you're with me. But again, I mean, if you're new, right? And you you kind of just been coming. Um, again, one of the ways to get up to speed, I would I would recommend to you is to get the 30 day challenge. Okay, now, <clears throat> good research. Right. So if you can buy good research and there are PLR products that are good research, they're rare. Right. There, there are not a lot of them, but you can buy products that are good research. Most uh, PLR products are going to be basic. Right. They're going to be basic when it comes to research. Um, um, but th there are a few out there that are good. I just bought one uh, yesterday. Right. I just bought one yesterday that that was a phenomenal research product right and 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 i bought it because i knew this i knew this lady could could do good research right and so she went and got all the links she went and put she got everything on the one subject i had to create a product on right ever i mean she found everything i could possibly want to know you, and and it was it was a fantastic because i didn't have to i didn't have to i didn't have to 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 hunt around for links, I didn't have to hunt around for articles. I didn't have to hunt around for understanding. I didn't have to hunt around for videos. Um, and and whatever this, if this lady puts out something else that is research oriented on a subject I want, I will buy it all day. And in fact, I don't even. I really, it, it doesn't mean it might not even matter. I might just buy it just because she puts it out, and and then look at it toward putting out a product, right? So so good research will save you time and it will help you to add value when i put the product together and i actually did this for someone right they asked me to put a product together for them and and i, I the, the i can tell you and i don't say this modestly right 
It was a good product. And the reason was because, primarily was because of the research this lady put together. And I put this thing together pretty fast. And, and it was good because of the value I was able to offer. But that had everything to do with the research this lady put together and put in one place. Right. So so always buy high quality PLR. Look for opportunities. And I could have done that and I could have done all the research myself. I could have gone and gotten the first thing I saw. I could have gone and got some outdated articles and tried to bring them up to date. But but I went and bought. Right. I paid money for good PLR to be able to put this product together. OK, now. OK, all this can be used in order to do list building. And, and, and those of you who were with me on that last day, I went through the list building method that you can use with um, with Warrior Plus. Right. So you put when you put a, a product together, you put it on Warrior Plus and then you can do that list building method that we talked about. Again, I don't have time to go through all that because I really want to get to the night briefly. Right. To just at the very least talk about. Um, uh, uh, the buyer infiltration method, right? I want to talk about that briefly. Now, here's what the buyer infiltration method is. It's based on the relationships you have. So, so those of you who have relationships in internet marketing, right? When you buy a product and you start building relationships, then when you put together a product and you have everything together, right? Maybe, maybe you go to someone and you say, hey, you know what? I, I, here is, here's my sales page. Here's my, you know, here's my graphic. You have, you know, your graphic looks, looks, looks dynamite. Your product and your instruction is fantastic. And you go to them and you say, well, look, I'm wondering if you need a bonus for your next product. So you find the marketer who has something that you put together that's related to something that you put together. And you go to them and you say, well, hey, you know what? I've got an entire course on that. And I, I'd like to offer a bonus to your to your buyers. And, so, and, and you're going to get a lot of people to turn you down, right, for whatever reason. You know, they got a lot of people offering bonuses or time is not right or they don't, they don't, you know, they may not know you quite yet. You get a lot of people to turn you down. I guarantee you somebody's going to say yes, right? Somebody's going to say yes. And what's going to happen is you're going to have that product in your download page. Somebody's going to come there and then they're going to they're going to opt in in order to get your product. But again, um, you, you know, if, if you if you really have an operation, right, you really you're really serious, you're really doing this. Then you, you remember, I told you at the beginning of this call, you really need to be doing something to build your list every single day, every day. Right. If you're an information marketer, the, the way you build your list is to get your list in front, get your products in front of people. Right. And get your products in front of buyers. And the one, one of the ways you do that is get your product on the download page. Make sure it's a good product. Make sure that your reputation is solid, right? But, but when you go and ask the marketer to put your, put, your, uh, put your product on the download page, but you can do it that way. It is how I started my business, right? It is how I started, right? I, when I, you know, um, back, I think it was, uh, man, it was, um, I mean, I was on a losing streak in, I think it was 2010. Right. I just left my full time job. And, and again, not by choice. Right. But the, the you know, the, they, they came to me and my wife and they said to me, they said, well, you know what? Um, we need you to spend more time with your with our kids, not your kids. And my kids were just at the point at which um, I, I, you know, they were just getting to be teenagers. And we had invested a lot of time in homeschool. And I was kind of like, I'm not going to leave my kids unsupervised for 12 hours. So, you know, I mean, we left on good terms. I took the, I took what they had to offer, um, left in 2009, but it took a long time to figure out how to do internet marketing. And I was on a losing streak. I mean, I'm, I'm talking about a serious losing streak. Nothing was working. And so, and so at that point, um, I, I, you know, I did a membership, I did a membership with a guy j just, and, and that just kept the lights on. Right. That that was just so Mrs. Harper wouldn't put me out. <laughs> you know, and so and so and, and so one thing happened. It, it was a key thing. I was inside of a Skype group and I was able to build a list by putting my product on somebody else's uh, get some my product into somebody else's product. And that's how I built my list. 
right? And all of these, and, and I, you know, and, and, and I'll tell you what I was, I, it, it happened so fast. I started just getting, I, I was, I was having, I was having shock because these people were coming onto my list and I had an offer right after that and they bought it. And I, and, and, and I'll tell you, um, it just shocked me. It surprised me because it actually worked the way it was supposed to, right? People were opting into my list because I had something they wanted and they were already buyers. They were predisposed to buy. And so they bought more of my stuff. That is how I got started. And so I know this will work for you. Um, it, 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 it's not straightforward. You have to find somebody. Um, you have to find somebody who has something that is related, right, to what you have to offer. And then your stuff has to be in order, right? So you got to take all the stuff you're learning and you got to have your stuff together. And so when your product is there and somebody says, okay, you know what, Charles, I'll tell you what, I'm going to put this on my download page. I'm going to send these buyers over to you because I know you know what you're talking about. I know you know this, you know you that. And, you know, and, 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 it, and it, it can happen just the way it did, right? So, so, so listen, um, the buyer infiltration method is, yes, I, I know you can do solo ads. Right. And I know you can do uh, Facebook ads and YouTube ads and all that. And I'm not I don't I don't dispute that that doesn't work. I'm just saying that this 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 worked for me when I didn't have anything working. And I'm not saying it's going to work for everybody, but I'm saying it worked and it worked just the way that way. I didn't I didn't have anything fancy. I didn't have anything th that I was this really superstar big time marketer. I had done a membership site with a guy. I had some credibility and I used every bit of that credibility. I spent all my capital. Uh, yeah. Yes, Julie, on a Skype group. I used all my capital. I used everything for that one thing. That's where I, that's that's where it happened. Right. Um, and, and, and so and so I so the buyer infiltration method, if you don't have any list. You don't have anybody who knows who you are. You don't have anybody who's looking at your stuff. You got to find somebody who, who I think my, my, uh, there's, there's a, there's a friend of mine who uses the word vibe. You have to find people who has your vibe so that when they come to that person's download page and they see your stuff, they say, oh yeah, of course I want that. It's free. I'll, I'll opt in. I'll get it. Right. And when they get your first offer, they say, oh yeah, well, yeah, that's, that's kind of like how I feel. So you have to kind of try to find that person who is in your vibe, right? And, 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 and it can happen is what I'm going to tell you. Okay, so now <clears throat> um, let's talk about some good PLR memberships. And, and those of you, 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 you've known this already. You got the handout. The best for content in PLR, absolute best. And that's a, there's a monthly charge for it. I agree. Uh, but I, you, you know, I have never let this membership go, right? Never. And I probably never will. Okay, it's Resale Rights Weekly. And the guy who runs it, um, I don't know him personally yet. Um, I hope I get to know him, but I don't really have to know him. Um, he just keeps this thing solid. And the stuff they've got in there is always, um, to me, it, it's, it, it is out of all the, and I've seen a lot of PLR memberships, right? I've seen them come. I've seen them go. Even the people who have PLR memberships, you know where they get their stuff? They get them from this guy. So, so I would just say, I think it's 1997. A month, and and it's the best 1997 I pay, right? If you think about it, 240 dollars a year, <laughs> um, cut back on going out to eat, is what I'll tell you. Go down, go down in your, go <coughs> go down a level in your cable package, right? Do what you have to do, but if you're if you're gonna be in the PLR and you just need some good, I mean, you just need to know this good stuff is there when you need it, so you're not hunting around for it. We sell rights weekly. Right. And again, I own I have that personally. Big content search. Writing. Right. The writing is where I get it. Right. Big content search. Um, and again, it's not it's not it's not um, it's not superb. Right. But it's workable. Right. I can find bonuses in there. I can find a, a, a good start for content. Now, then, there are probably some other ones out there. But again, what makes this easy is that they have a good search feature right is the search right and again i i you know i wish i had time to go through all that but but again big content search um excellent for content if you're going to buy software 
right? Or, or plugins. Um, I've got the link in there. It's called Sell PLR Plugins, right? Phenomenal. I mean, they've got they've got high quality premium pro uh, plugins, and and they're not they're not stingy with the rights. So you buy, so you you become part of their membership, or you buy their product, and you have the right to get in there with it and use it for your business, right? Yeah, you might use it on your site, you might use it, but I'm talking about if you want to sell the plugin, if you want to offer it as a bonus, if you want to make it part of a product. I mean, they're they're once you pay them. Right for the for the rights for their plugins, they're not stingy and they're not trying to keep you from making money. And so I like that membership. Sell PLR plugins. Now, if you just want uh, best place for ideas, right? Best place for ideas, okay? For for new products. Now, these are not these are not PLR products, but th this is where um where where just some ideas will come from that, for you to create products that other people. Now, how many of you you, you probably have heard Periscope, right? Well, you would have known Periscope was coming months ago, right? If you had been in one of these three areas, in the trade publications, in Udemy, or Amazon Unlimited, right? One of them, right? One of them would have told you. And that that's really why I think I sent it out in an email today. And I said to people that um, I'm not ready to, to go all in with Periscope yet because I know Facebook Live is coming. Right, it doesn't mean that Periscope isn't cool. It's just that I know from having read trade publications, from being on Udemy, from being on Amazon Unlimited, I know Facebook Live is coming, and I know that's going to change everything. So, so, so again, <clears throat> in terms of ideas, in terms of being in the know, um, these places are great places. And again, I could have put some uh, trade publications is kind of general. I have some sites that I look at for my business. Right in particular, right? Uh, you know, I do a lot of videos, so I look at real SEO every day, right? So, so, so again, just so that you you're up on ideas, I would be checking out these places. If you have to buy something, buy something. Udemy has good courses, of course. No, you don't want to copy their courses, but you want to have an idea of what people are talking about. A lot of free courses on there um, on Udemy. Okay, now. Okay, we have a couple of memberships coming up, animated video articles for offline marketers, um, content-based emails so that you want to have emails to be teaching people. We're going to be putting out some stuff on that. And again, some of these are going to be memberships um, and some of these are not affiliate profit magnets. And then we're going to be putting out a new, uh, a new we're going to be doing a new membership called Product Starters so that we're actually going to start the product for you. And we're going to give you uh, pretty much the product, not necessarily done, but the product ready with the research so that you can go ahead and just start recording videos and doing the content, right? So we're going to give you, uh, we're going to be giving you the, uh, the ideas for the products. Okay. So good PLR memberships. Those are all good places for you to get for, to, to source good stuff. Okay. Now I want to tell you a little bit about, um, uh, one of the folks that I kind of follow and that's, uh, Dr. Lisa Lang doesn't know me. Right. So I, so if you, if you ever run into her at a seminar, you say, Oh, Charles Harper's talking about you. Um, <laughs> she probably wouldn't know me. I met her in 2009 or I came in contact with her at a StomperNet conference, right? StomperNet used to be this big time, um, this big time, uh, uh, SEO outfit and they used to do information products and so on the whole deal. So I went to their conference and, uh, and Dr. Lisa Lang was speaking and she spoke on a subject called mafia offers. And and uh, and Dr. Lisa Lang uh, studied under somebody named uh, Elihu Goldratt. And you've heard me talk about him. He's a father of the theory of constraints and, and the writer of a book called The Goal, which I have talked about, The Goal. I've talked about that book a lot. And, and Dr. Lisa Lang studied under him and really kind of took his theory to the next level and, and applied it to marketing. And here's basically what she says, and I hope that you kind of get this, right? You find out where the constraints are and you'll see opportunities to make money, right? This is especially true to internet marketers. So, so here's what you want to try to do. If you're a niche, right? It, it really doesn't matter what your niche is, right? Find out where the blockages are in people's lives. Okay, everybody, how many of you, how many of you all know people who want to lose weight, right? Everybody. Everybody, their mother, their cousin, their daughters, everybody wants to lose weight. That's not the problem. 
The problem isn't even that there's not enough information on how to lose weight. The problem that people will pay you for are the blockages. What's keeping them from losing weight? Right. So, so what's keeping them from making money online? What's keeping the, so, so yes, everybody's probably going to get um, a good information product, tell them how to do step by step. That's cool. But, but here's where the money is made. If you find out what's keeping people, right? That's why, you know, you, of course, yeah, you want to do surveys. You want to do, you want to be talking to people. You want to ask questions. You want to get to know people personally. Right? Don't hide behind your computer if you're going to be an internet marketer. Talk to people and let them talk so that you find out what's blocking them. Right? And once you find out where their constraints are, right? the theory of constraints says is find out where your constraints are. That's where your opportunity is. Now, I'm going to show you why this is true. Now, here's, here's, what, here's what Dr. Lang says. Um, the more dramatic the constraint that people think they have, the bigger the profit opportunity. And it'll also pay what people are, it'll determine what people are willing to pay for it, right? Because if people feel like the, the their constraint is big enough, they'll pay more for it. I don't care if the average price is, is $2 everything and everything else, right, for information products. If, you, if people perceive that you have the answer to show them how to, let's say, um, take care of their aging parents, Right. When when you haven't been able to you haven't been able to take care of mom and dad at all. Um, they don't listen to you. You can't get them. You, you can't get them to live with. You can't get them to do this. And then somebody comes out with an information product and says, hey, here, here's here's how you get past that. It doesn't matter if every book on the market is ten dollars, you'll pay ninety seven dollars for it. Right. True or false. I, I think that's true. Right. And so the more dramatic the perceived constraint the bigger the profit opportunity, and it determines what people are willing to pay for it in order to relieve that problem, to relieve the constraint. Now, here's a question. Where are the constraints that internet marketers have? Right? So, so start thinking about that. Start talking to people. Start hanging with, whenever I, you know, hanging out in groups. And next time you hang out in a, in a, in a Skype group, next time you hang out in a, in a, um, in a Facebook group, Next time you hang out in a, in a LinkedIn group, uh, take one day or, or a marketing form. Take one day and you're not going to be looking to market yourself on that day, right? You take one day and you just listen and you write down stuff that people are stuck. What's keeping people stuck? As a matter of fact, you know, I told you about the buyer infiltration method that I, that, that, that I implemented by being inside of a Skype group. Well, the Skype group is where I, fit, I learned that, that people wanted content, right? And that's where I found out what, and I, I find not, not only did I find out people need the content, but I also found out what the area was. And I'll tell you exactly what happened. Um, and and I'll, I'll, get, I'll go through this story quickly. This is back in 2009 and mobile marketing was hot, right? And so marketers were trying to figure out, okay, so how do I, how do I get, how do I communicate um, that, that business owners need uh, marketers to help them with mobile marketing. Well, nobody was writing on that stuff. They didn't have they didn't have ebooks and webs and uh, and web content. And there was one branch of mobile marketing, right? And it was called uh, proximity marketing. If you know anything about mobile marketing, proximity marketing back then was new, right? And and I you know and I I I yeah and I did all the research on it, right? I'd done all the reading on it. I already knew what it was, but nobody had content on it. Right. And proximity marketing was, you know, when you when you go near a building and and the and and the building sends out a beacon to, to your <clears throat> to your mobile device. And all of a sudden your mobile device sends you this uh, sends you a message and tells you, hey, you know, um, that fragrance that you wanted, it's 1099. Right. That's proximity marketing. So in other words, the closer you come to the beacon, the more opportunities that the market is going to get to market to you. So anyway, I, I'd already done the research on that and I knew that. That was a constraint that that I knew that was a constraint that people had. They did not have anything they could leave with the business owner. Right. They didn't have anything that was spoken in plain language. That was complex enough to tell them what it was, but at the same time would make them want to buy it. 
So I said, oh, okay, well, that's what I'm going to do my content on. That's what I'm going to sell my product on. That was the first product I sold. It was called uh, Proximity Marketing. It was $7. And it sold like crazy because I knew what the niche was. I knew what their constraint was. And <laughs> I knew how to fill it. And I was in position to do it. Right. So, so what you have to do is you have to find out what are the constraints in your niche, right? If you're in the internet marketing, which, what are the constraints people have right now? <clears throat> we know that internet marketing have a constraint for copywriting, right? So, cause not everybody can pay, pay a $5,000 copywriter, right? We know that internet marketers have constraints in graphics, right? Cause it's hard to make things look good if you don't have a graphic design, right? Um, uh, uh, what are the constraints that internet marketers have? Content creation, right? Content creation and time. The the fact of the matter is that that um, if if you if if you could if you could have this week help me to figure out if you could have taken um, uh, if you could have taken one third of the time that I spent planning off of my plate if you knew how to do that this week I'd have, I'd have happily given you. I'd have happily given you five hundred to a thousand dollars, happily, right? Because the, because I would have made more money by giving you a thousand dollars to help me with the time constraint I had, right? I would have made made a lot more money by giving you that, and would happy to pay you. And so what you've got to do is you've got to figure out the constraints that internet marketers have, right? And copywriting is one. I can tell you, graphics is another one. Content creation. Now, uh, graphics and, and and how do you know graphics are a constraint? Because uh, what was it uh, that just came out this week? Pixel Studio, right? And uh, and eCover Authority. I love eCover Authority, and I mean, I I you know I recommend that product all the time to people because it it helps them with a constraint, right? Um, uh, content creation is a problem, and that's why they're writers, right? They're people like Dana, right? Um, uh, Dana, who's here, right? Dana uh, uh, is is here because number one, most people now. Most people think they can write and, and don't really know they need an editor until somebody sends something back to them. Is that right, Dana? <laughs> so, but most people recognize they don't want to write, right? They may not recognize their need for an editor, right? But they typically recognize their need that they don't know how to write and they don't want to do it. And so that's why Dana can fill that need, right? Content creation is a need for people, right? Now, <laughs> so these are just some of the constraints that marketers have. You have to figure out where people are blocking. What's keeping them from making money in internet marketing? If you're in a different niche, if you're in the weight loss niche, what's blocking people? Right? What's blocking people? Now, <clears throat> um, well, I could I could go into a totally different tangent, but I'm not going to do that. Um, I want to continue on um, with Dr. Lisa Lang in terms of making mafia offers. Now, here's what you have to do. If you want to, if you want to take advantage of the opportunity, you have to change the equation as to how they purchase, what they need to relieve their constraint. Now I know that that sounds a little, it sounds a little, um, it sounds a little complicated, but I want to break it down to you. I think I can even give you a good example of that. You have to change the equation as to how they purchase, right? What they need to relieve their constraint, right now. Um, I've got a, I've got a good friend and, and and many of you on this call you probably know him already. His name is Dwayne Golden, right? And and I and I've said that he's a good he's a good affiliate marketer. But one of the things that he did for people, right, is he changed the equation as to how they how they bought products, right? So so he turned buying a, a, an information product into a money making opportunity for them, and so and so as a result of that. That process helps to make that sale easier for the buyer, right? He changed the equation. So people were not just buying a product to learn the stuff. They were buying an opportunity to make more money with the product. They, they changed the equation. Whenever you can change the equation, you're going to make more money. Now, <clears throat> you do that according to what you have the capacity or the ability to offer. Now, um, um, one of the things that 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 okay, we've got again. I'm going to go back to Dana for a second. I'm going to pick on her for a second. Dana has the ability, right, to offer writing and editing, right? She has that capacity, so she could, if if she wh wherever she can change the equation to get people unstuck with her writing and editing, right? She's going to be able to make more money, 
right, at, at the drop of a hat. So what you have to do is you have to look at what you have the ability to offer. At the time, I offered um, the time I offered uh, 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 content, right? When I offered content, I'd already spent years in corporate America, right? I, I, so, so I knew how to talk to small business owners. I spent years, um, I spent years calling on small businesses as a commercial banker. So I, so I don't have to think about how to create content for small business owners. I don't have to do research. I don't have to do any of that stuff. I have the capacity to do that. J just, I, I can wake up and do that. So that's a capacity I have that other people don't have right now. I don't use it right now. I'm not in the offline niche. I think today I just put my, all my offline products um, are, are on sale tonight. I think they go up to 37.95 tomorrow, right? But they're on sale tonight and I put them on sale. I'm not in that niche anymore, but when I was in that niche, right? When I was in that niche, I could offer this stuff and it was no problem for me. And that is where you, that is where you take PLR and you make it, th this is where you use PLR as leverage, right? And I'm going to, I'm going to break this down for you where you don't have capacity, you buy capacity. So in other words, what if, what if you did not have my ability and you didn't spend years in corporate America and you didn't spend years calling on small business, what would you do? You buy the capacity, you buy that. And that's what PLR does. You buy it, right? That's what you're paying for. You're paying for leverage. I've, I've said that a lot of times on, on, on my calls. When you buy a PLR, you're buying leverage. You're buying capacity. You're buying the ability. You're, you're buying what, what you cannot do, right? So you don't have the ability like I can to go out and research small business. But you could buy it, right? And you could buy it and, and you, find a, you find a way. And that's why you, 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 when you buy it, you don't just buy it because it's cheap. You buy it because it's good. And when you buy it because it's good, even if you pay a little more for it, you're going to be able to use it in your business. Okay, so so now. <coughs> okay, so yeah, so PLR is leverage when you do it right. So here's what I say, when I, and I, I say this in the 30-day challenge, and I want to come back to this again. When you get PLR, tag your stuff. Tag it, label it, and categorize it. And, and, and you're going to understand why when I go through this, it, because it's going to be beneficial to you to do that, right? When you understand this concept I'm about to just tell you, okay, make sure your products are tagged, labeled, or categorized. Okay, now, the other thing is you have to think about this. Um, and I realize you, you start thinking, and see, there, there's more to PLR than just Okay, I got these products and now I'm going to sell them. I got this product and now I'm going to sell them. Where am I going to sell this product? I got this thing on Facebook. I got this thing on Twitter. I got this thing. It's not even, it's not always about that, right? So, so if you, if you have all those products, I'm telling you that you're in a good position and I'm going to tell you why in a minute, right? So, so I, I know you feel like I'm just collecting stuff on my hard drive. No, you're actually not, right? When you understand what I'm about to share with you, you're actually not just collecting things you are you are you are positioning yourself now now what you need to do is start buying buying more intelligently and positioning yourself intelligently by understanding your goal right by understanding your goal but 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 when you collect things you collect things because they are assets right you buy assets you buy inventory you don't just buy products okay so 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 you stop with expenses and you start buying assets. And we'll, we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. Now, okay, Gareth, I'm going to come back to your question. I'm going to try to get through what I have, and I'll come back and I'll answer your question. Okay. <clears throat> and here's basically where it is. Okay, you need to have enough PLR content if you're going to repurpose it into a product for somebody else to use. So if you're going to go to the market with something that you have used PLR to repurpose, right, part of your deal is you need to make sure it stays updated Right. And so you need to have a source to continue feeding you the stuff. Right. So, again, I go back to making sure that you have some of those sources I was telling you about. Right. If it, it once you once you kind of determine um, you, you, resale rights weekly is a source. Right. It is a source. Um, big content search is a source. Right. Sell PLR plugins is a source because, again, they're going to keep it coming to you as long as you're paying for them. Are you paying 
a little more than you might pay for the average PLR product? Yes, but it is a source. Now, <clears throat> so, so how do you add value to a product, right? So how do you add value? How do you take this mafia offer uh, concept and make it work so it's not just academic? Right. OK, so we, we talked about finding the constraints. You take an aspect that marketers find troublesome. Right. Um, we, we talked about writing is a problem for marketers. It's a problem for everybody. Right. Copywriting is a problem. Research is a problem. OK, so you can buy one or all three of these things in information product. Right. You can find one or all three, these three of these things in an information product or membership. Right. You can do any of them. OK, you check the market to see how people are delivering this. Right. And we're going to talk about copywriting in particular. So how does the market deliver copywriting? Well, you can go to a copywriter. Right. Or or you can buy uh, you can buy PLR products. Right. So so that that's how it's being delivered. Now, what you need to do. Right. So, yes, I could buy I could go out and I could I could resell uh, a PLR product with some copy in it. Right. You change the way it's being delivered. Now, I'm going to show you a product that I bought. Um, I think it was three years ago. Was happy I bought it um, and, and still happy I bought it. And uh, let me kind of show it to you here. Right. And the, and the point is not to get you to buy it, but I just want to show it to you. Asked a fast, effective copy. And uh, let's just kind of talk about, about this here for a second. And I, I know the guy. I know the guy who does this now, right? So uh, he's he's a good. He's actually a good friend of mine. And about it, and when he told me about it. I mean, again, this was this was this was not. I didn't buy this. I didn't buy this necessarily when things were 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 going really well. So when he told me about it, and he was talking about, well, this thing is it's only four ninety seven. I said. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> we made only four ninety seven, but okay. So I bought this thing, right? So I I, I bought it. Okay, only four ninety seven. So so let's talk about what 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 it is, right? So what what is it? I, now it's not. Okay, granted, it's not PLR, but but I, I but but I, but I think but I want I want you to understand right what I'm talking about. I want you to understand the concept. Because you might say, now, I, you know, I don't, I don't have anything that's four ninety seven. But look, okay, now, Brian's a copywriter, but here's, here's what Brian was effectively selling. What he sold were copywriting templates. So that, so that all I have to do is, I, I don't, I, you know, if, if I, if I'm struggling for headlines, right, and, and, and this, it's the last minute, I can, I can go to a template. If I want to go for the bullets. I can look at that if I want to find the story, um, this negative optimism. I didn't even know what that was when I was writing copies. So I, I didn't even I didn't even know what that was. And once I understood it, I said, OK, yeah, that fits. And so all these things are templates. Right. And so and so th the point is not that you need to go buy this. Right. Or, or that or that you can need to become a copywriter. Here's I'm going to I'm going to tell you why this is important here in a minute. Now. What have they done? I can buy copywriting one or two ways, couldn't I? I can go out and pay a copywriter $5,000 or $1,000 or $500, whatever the case is, right? Or I can buy PLR, right? With some, with our PLR product with a copy, learn, teaching me how to do copy. What they did was they changed the way copywriting was delivered. They made templates. And they and they use their experience, right? Their capacity, something they could offer that other people could not offer, and they made it available to marketers. Now, again, uh, now I realize everybody wants to be in the make money online niche because instant commissions are over here and all that stuff. But but and, and I'm going to say this to you over and over again until you believe me. Um, there are people who are willing to buy the expertise you already have I I I instead of you trying to get the expertise in an area that you don't have it. Right. So some of you all have some expertise in some areas that that's already sellable. You just may not it may not, not be very sexy, but you can learn to like it if people are willing to pay you for it. 
right? That, and again, I'm not gonna fuss at you about that. I'm just, I'm just gonna put that out there. Okay, now <clears throat> they changed the way copywriting was delivered, and they charged me four ninety seven. I was happy to pay it because because these are templates. So I no, I I don't. I, and it's worth it to me. It's worth it. So I don't have to pay a copywriter um, x number of hundreds of dollars. Right, I, I can go back to these templates over and over and over again that I got from professional copywriters. Now, yes, they use their reputation. I knew Brian McLeod. I didn't know David Garfinkel, but I knew Brian McLeod, and I respected him. So when he sold this and he has these comp these templates, I said, "I'm in." Right? I didn't have a money. I didn't even have a money then. I didn't even have a money, and you know, I think some kind of miracle happened <laughs> that month that that week. And five hundred dollars came to my hand, so I went and I bought this thing, and it's and it and it's and it's been a and it's been a boost to my business, right? It's been a boost to my business, and I'll do some other stuff, but okay. So the point is to tell you about that, but it's just to tell you that when you find a constraint, you check the market to see how people are selling it, or how it's being delivered to people, and you change that, right? Remember, I told you my 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 friend Dwayne. He changed the way that people were buying products. He turned buying a money buying a product into a money making opportunity, and so other people bought it that would not have bought it otherwise. Change the way it's being delivered. <coughs> okay. Okay, and so what you're doing is you're trying to help the buyer to relieve their constraints, right? My constraint was copywriting. It was taking me a long time, and my copy wasn't very good. And so four hundred ninety-seven dollars was nothing, right now. <clears throat> and again, see, here's the thing. Now you might think, well, if everybody wants it, I'm just going to price it at seven dollars or nine dollars, and they'll buy it like crazy. That's and that's and, and again, I thought that too. That doesn't necessarily mean you price yourself low. I was at a point in internet marketing at that point where I was already a product creator. So, so, so I, I, you did not have to price that to me as if I was new to marketing, right? So if you're new to marketing and you want to buy a copywriting product, that, that, that same product you just looked at, you would have had to price that at $17, right? If you were, if you were aiming that at people who, who were new, but because that was not aimed at people who were new, they were aimed at people who already knew they had a constraint. These are people who were already creating products, but they had a constraint. They were willing to pay the four ninety seven as I as was I. And so you don't have to all. It doesn't always mean that you go low in price. That's not what that means. It means that you have to find out what somebody is willing to pay to relieve their constraint. Right. And so when you understand that, then you start thinking about pricing differently. And so and so, again, why is this true? Because when a buyer, in this case, an entrepreneur feels as if the constraint is worth relieving, they will pay you. Right. They will pay you. The, 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 I mean, it, now it's a it's a <clears throat> it's a um, it, it's a, it's a it's a probably a, a, a downer in terms of an example. but but. I mean, anybody who's ever gone through trying to put one of their family members in the ground, right? If somebody comes to you and says, you know what? I'll take care of all this. Here's my fee, right? We, after you've been through it the first time, you got to go through it the second time. You think, you know what? Say, tell you what, I'm going to give this to you. I'll pay you. Anybody who's ever been through a wedding before. Now I haven't, you know, my daughters, my daughters have not gotten married and, uh, but Here's, a, here's what I know, that if I have to be have anything to do with it um, and somebody comes to me and says, you know what, I'll take, this is why wedding coordinators make money. I don't care, I don't care how many videos you have on doing your own wedding on the internet. I'm not doing, I'm not trying to do that. My time is worth too much. And I'll, I'll happily pay you, Mr. or Mrs. Wedding Coordinator, if you take that off my shoulder. And this is what you are doing when you are selling a product. Right, you are relieving me of a constraint that I have. I don't know how to plan weddings. I don't want to know how to plan weddings. You relieve me of that constraint. I don't have to pay you ten dollars for that. If you want to charge me five hundred dollars for it, I'll pay it for you. 
Right? Is everybody getting this? Do, do you understand the whole mafia offer concept now? If you understand it, I want you to put the number three in the question box. Okay, and I'm just going to kind of keep moving on because we're, we're over time here. So let's run through copywriting and how this applies. So, so let's let's talk about how this applies to copywriting for internet marketers. Number one, <coughs> we, we talked about you, you have to find a way to make it easy for people, right? So, so how do you make copywriting easier for people? Okay, now I, I have in here that there are 12 elements to copywriting, right? There are 12 elements. You click that link, um, you'll go to date, you'll get you'll be taken to the 12 basic elements in copywriting, right? So, so the, the, the 12 basic elements, everybody knows them. I think David Fry was the guy who put them all together. So there's that. There's a link there. You take them there, and and, and those are the twelve elements. So so how do you then solve this problem for marketers? And how do you use PLR? Okay, so where can you get those twelve elements? Now again, again, you may not be a professional copywriter, but look, here are those twelve elements. Right there are the twelve. So, so what do you have to do with PLR before I go on my presentation? So, so, so what, what are you trying to do with PLR? If these are the 12 elements, the first thing you got to do, the first thing you got to do is you have to find a source for those things. And you can find these things in PLR, right? And, and you can find, you can find sources for headlines. And, and, uh, and for those of you who have, you have the gold membership of uh, resale, right? If I were going to put together a copywriting product, right? If, if I were going to put together a product, I would go and I'd find headlines in Resale Rights Weekly. I'd find a source for bullets. I'd find a source for stories. I'd find a source for whatever negative optimism is. I still don't really know exactly what that is. I find a way to make the offer. So how do you do that? Let's, let's, let's just start with headlines. Okay, I'm going to go inside of my Resale Rights Weekly. Membership, right? I'm just gonna go right inside of here. Okay, I'm gonna log in. Let's log in right here. Again, we're looking at we're looking at PLR in a totally advanced method, right? So we're not just talking about just getting it and selling it. Right, that's cool, but but this is a little more advanced. Okay, so now I'm going to move outside of my product search. Now I'm going to write in headline, and I don't care what what rights are because I'm using it. Right? I'm going to sell this headlines. Right, headlines, headline software, but I want the headlines because I'm putting together a product. Here's some headlines right here. Here's some headlines here. Headlines, 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 headlines that sell. Headline Creator Pro. I got headlines. So, so even if I just want to sell a product on, on what? What if I just want to sell a product on what, what? What could I sell a product just based on what I showed you? What constraint could I relieve that people have? Okay, anybody writing in there? What const, What constraint could I relieve just based on what you've seen there? Writing headlines. Right, I I could I could put together an entire product on headlines. I could put together a copywriting product and make that part of a database. There are a number of ways to go, and what what has made this possible? What makes this possible is that there is PLR available. I'm going to go into big content search. Okay, I'm going to go into big content search. All right, just one second. Uh, I'm, not, I'm just off screen here. Haven't left you. And again, I, I know that we're going a little long here, but I do want to make sure I finish this. I think I think this is pretty important that I finish this concept and I don't try to stretch it into another another webinar. Got that? We're just about we're just about there. So. Okay, so so I'm going to go into big content search. 
And again, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to, I'm trying to create a product here, right? And so I'm and so I'm gonna I'm gonna relieve the constraint that a person has. Hopefully, big content search. I gotta I hope it's gonna come up here. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write in here headline. I'm going to write headline in here. And let's see what comes up in my search. Okay, last stuff. Eight headlines that sell. Uh, tips. Okay, what I really want are the headlines themselves, right? So I, I don't I don't want instruction in this case. I don't I don't want instruction because that's the way people are delivering headlines now, right? So I don't I don't I don't remember what we're trying to do is an advanced concept. We're changing the way that this is delivered, right? So I'm gonna find some headlines. See if there's anything here in big, big content search. Okay, even if there's not, I've got more than enough in Resale Rights Weekly. More than enough. Okay, nothing there in the ebook section. Okay, so so where can I get those twelve? Where can I source these things? Now, here's the key. How can I put them in a database? Now, why am I doing that, right? Why am I doing that? Why am I talking about putting them in a database and creating an interface? Because <clears throat> what people want, right, is they don't want to learn how to how to write a headline, right? Now, you might think you might think they do, and some people think they want to learn how to write a headline, but some people, most people, who are pressed for time, want the headline. Right or 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 a way of getting it, right? And so and so I think there was a a product out a little while ago called Copy Builder, right? And basically that's what this was, right? I didn't even think of that, but that's what Copy Builder was. They they created a database, they created an interface for people who wanted copy, and they didn't want to pay a copywriter, and 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 they didn't want to and they didn't want to learn how to write copy. They just want the copy. Right, so how can you deliver this product? You can make it a standalone product, like they did with Copy Builder, or you can make it an, an upsell. Right, so in other words, let's say you do a, a product creation, you do a you a, 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 you do a a, a a PLR product or a product creation product. This is the second upsell. Right, you put it in the funnel. Okay, who do you aim this toward? Uh, and you and, and so when you figure out. You know who you're aiming it towards. You figure out what are they willing to pay. What are people willing to pay who are who are who are who need copywriting? And these are going to be not going to be people that are new. They're going to be people who are already creating products, right? Or who want to create products and who already are at that step. They're not going to be new, and so you don't have to price it as if you're going to be selling to somebody who's new, right? What are you willing to pay? So when you think about this, you think about this. Um, this this concept is really um, it, it 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 it's really understanding what people are willing to pay, and what do people typically pay. Okay, and that's how you apply this concept of making a mafia offer to PLR. So you're putting the PLR together, and I want to show you one more thing. So you talk about okay, well, how am I going to create this interface, right? You you you, you know, how am I going to create this interface? I'm going to show you something, right? Um, a bin press, binpress.com. And then then we're and then we're going to be done. Okay, so binpress.com, binpress.com is, guess what? 
it's a place where you can go and you can buy code. So, so a lot of the software that you see on the market has already been started, right? And this is, and you go to sites like this in order to buy the code. I know none of you, you might not have known that, but there are sites where you can already buy the application, right? If I wanted to buy a Facebook application, I'd go here, I'd type in Facebook to see what's available. And lo and behold, there are Facebook applications, right? So what I need to do is I might need to work with a programmer to create an interface, but I don't need to create a program. The programmers are already created. They're already created. Does that make sense? So, so, so again, this is not hard, folks. And, 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 and it may just it may not be something that you just didn't know. But most of you probably didn't know about sites like Ben Press. There's another site called Code Canyon. There's another site called Code Monkey. Lots of places that already have the code written. And all you've got to do is create the interface and the database. And where do you get the database? You get the database of information from Resale Rights Weekly. You put the, and now again, you're going to have to have a little help to do this. But we're not talking about thousands of dollars, folks. We're talking about a really easy project to put together. Now, again, I'm going to have to go. I might have to go into the code part a little more in depth into another call on another call. But that's that's basically this whole thing in a, in a, in a, in a ball of wax. Okay, now I, <laughs> now I, you know, it's probably me a little disingenuous for me to ask you if you have any questions. Okay, but uh, but but if you have questions, um, go ahead and put them in here. Um, um, I do want to tell you that you, if you didn't get my email, that tomorrow um, all of my my PLR product, all twenty of my PLR products go up to thirty seven ninety five, right? So you can still get them uh, tonight until I think uh, midnight PST for uh, uh, I think it's uh, yeah yeah you can still it's still single digits right now. <laughs> but uh, as of 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, it's gonna go, um, it's gonna go up. I'm trying to make room, right, for the, for the, for the new, right, right, Dr. Fay. I mean, I, you know, you can't, you, you, you got, you got to get rid of that. You got to make room for the new stuff. Okay, so, so yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and just price this where it should have been priced in the first place. Make it thirty-seven ninety-five. I mean, if people buy it at that price, it's it's fine with me. If they don't buy it at that price because it's too high, I don't. I you know, it's 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 not going to be a problem. So, but we're gonna we're gonna price it where it should have been priced um, as of tonight at three a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, but any questions about about what we talked about tonight? Any questions? I know we covered a lot of advanced stuff tonight, guys, but um, but but I want to encourage you that any of you could take this webinar. You could take any piece of this webinar and create your own product, right? And and, and I encourage you to do that, right? And and uh, you know if you beat me to it, great, because I might take. A piece of this webinar, and I might create. I could, I could take a piece of this webinar, and really provide value to a marketer by breaking it down. You could too, if you decide to. Right, if you decided to. Oh, uh, Bid Press and uh, um, Code Canyon. I think there's another site called Code Monkey or something. You see, I, I uh, code, code monkey or something. I don't know where I was. Code Canyon is one. Um, I have to look at my, yeah, something. Yeah, Gareth, it's one off. One, 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 uh, it's a one off no uh no monthly but but yeah but after tonight it's going to it's going to go up to 37 and um 
Yeah, and and if you if you haven't gotten the thirty day challenge, um, it's it's at it's at seventeen dollars, and it's it's going up to ninety seven. So um, ninety seven, and it might go up one more time, but but it's definitely going up to ninety seven, and that's where it should be anyway. And it's a deal at ninety seven, to be quite honest with you. I you know I, I don't I don't say that to kind of toot my own horn, but it it is. Hey, any questions? Well, okay, everybody. Uh, for those of you who can be available tomorrow, I know you all have work to do. I know you all have families to do, and you're trying to run your online business. So, uh, you know, again, you can always pick up the replay for tomorrow if you can't make it tomorrow. I'm not going to go nearly as long. I'm, I try to be sensitive. I really, I, tonight, I really just felt like I really wanted to cover everything that we did, and I didn't want to break it up and try to make it into next week. Right. So, uh, so yeah, I just, I just, uh, well, okay. Yeah. So the, so the 30 day challenge, um, and the bonuses are still available. It's at uh super fast action bonus.com forward slash 30 day. Right. And so the, the, the bonuses are still there and, uh, and, and that's, that's 17. It's going up to 97 though. Um, Okay, everybody. Well, yeah, I, I really appreciate you all, man. I I I do, and uh, um, love doing this, and love doing this uh, for you all and with you all, and uh, looking forward to seeing what you're going to be doing here at the end of 2015, as well as into 2016, right? Really, really, really looking forward to seeing what you're going to be doing with your business, and uh, again, um, you you know, don't hesitate to reach out to each other. And and look to partner with each other. So so th that's a that's a very important thing um, that you can that you can do. So so um, you know anything that you can do to find the people, right? Your your missing piece, right, to your business. I, piece to your business is probably someplace on this call. Is probably on this call, and um, um, the, the I think in two thousand. 12 or 2013, I went to, and again, I really will be done after this. I went to the warrior event, the warrior forum event in North Carolina. And, and I, I'd say that, that one relationship I met there, right? One relationship I met there, uh, paid my mortgage for that year. Just one relationship. The other relationship built my business. Another relationship I made there is still going to this day and that relationship is still is still profiting me so so really and truly um you could be you will you will meet that partner or that person that you're going to partner up with um don't be closed off to partnerships right i, I really want to encourage you there Okay, everybody. Thank you very much for being here. I, I appreciate that, Dr. Fay. Oh, and and uh, Gareth, let me see. I think you have one more question. I did say I was going to try to answer that. Let me scroll back here. I bought software as a service, uh, white label. I like to sell it to local businesses. I like to know how to get local businesses to buy it. Well, I think I think what you have to do, um, if, if you have a software as a service, you got to figure out what problem that business solve, what pro what business problem it solves. Number two, you have to figure out how the business is buying that, buying their solution now. And number three, you then have to figure out how can you change the equation so that it becomes a bargain for them to buy it from you at a higher price, right? So, so that, is, that is what I think. If you have, let's say, a webinar system, then you need to figure out what that solves and how you can solve that problem that they have with the webinar system. Okay, I'll you know I'll talk about that tomorrow night. I'll, I'll talk about that then some tomorrow night. So we'll we'll talk about that tomorrow night if you can make it. Um, you know, uh, I hope to see you. If not, get get the replay and let it play while you work. So again, I know I went long, and I appreciate you guys being there. Have a great night, everybody. Take care.